Today, I'm here to further your knowledge of the poo-poo joke research started by my esteemed colleague, Dr. Charlie McDonald of the Charlie Is So Cool Like channel. If you can recall, Charlie explained that there's a cockroach living inside the brains of every little boy and girl, a cockroach that feeds on the laughter of poo-poo jokes. At age 13, however, the cockroach falls out of the little girl's brains, allowing them to grow up. So, you're probably asking yourself, why is it necessary to further research the effects that poo-poo jokes have on the human body? Well, recent cosmetic research done on female orangutans suggests that the cockroach does not fall out of the girl's brains at age 13, giving the girls the ability to laugh at poo-poo jokes. The enzyme excrementi, brought on by the reaction known as PMS, allows the cockroach to grasp on tighter and longer, causing enormous bursts of inappropriate behavior. All over the globe, explosively irritated poo-poo mobs have been seen forming in places such as England, China, and Alabama. Though no cure for the cockroaches has been found yet, scientists are adamant that the cure lies within the history of the poo-poo joke. So, to understand the violent epidemic of the poo-poo joke, we must journey back to year 1969 AD, where the first poo-poo joke was told to Queen Tite Arsenidi. I have here in my hands the last remaining text describing this momentous event. Here it goes. The gloomiest days of Queen Tite Arsenini had come. The cockroaches that invaded everybody's colon were controlling their ability to control their bowels. Poo poo was everywhere. Trying desperately not to poo poo in her pants, Queen Tite Arsenini prayed to the gods for a cure. The gods heard her prayer. They swiftly came down from the heavens and asked, Queen Tite Arsenini. Sinini, what animal walks our forest with humongous feet and poo-poos all over our trees? Concentrating strictly on her bowel movements, Queen Tite Arsenini couldn't think of the creature and said, IDK. The gods paused for a moment and then spoke. Big squat. <laughs> Unable to control her laughter, Queen Arsenini forgot her own bowels and didn't realize that the cockroach being drawn to the poo-poo joke's energy had crawled from her colon to her brain. From that day on, Queen Tite Arsenini's tribe told poo-poo jokes and were able to control their bowels. This incredibly ancient text those seemingly very, very, very useless will help us identify cures for the poo poo problem we are facing today. <laughs> well, if you think this is random, just keep watching. <laughs>